In this video you will learn how to use inject function inside Angular. Starting from Angular 14, we have now inject function inside Angular and we can inject our dependencies in another way. Let's have a look. So here, inside an empty project, I prepared user service file. And as you can see, this is just a service with provided in root and inside get users method. How do we typically use such service inside our component? We are writing constructor and inside private, for example, user service, and we say that this is our user's service. It allows us in any place of our component to write this user service and we are getting access to all methods, for example, get users, on which we can subscribe and console log what we are getting back. As you can see in browser, we are getting two elements of our array. So this is what we used previously and this is still a valid code. It is not deprecated in the latest Angular, but we can write it in another way. Instead, we can define here our user service and we can use here inject function, which is coming from Angular core and inside we are providing our user service. As you can see in browser, our code is still working, but now we are writing much less code. We didn't use constructor and we have a property just like a plain local property inside our component. So the first point for inject, we are writing less code and it is more readable. And just from the beginning, here is a super important point. We can't just take this inject and put anywhere inside our application. If I will change our user service to const and try to use it inside ng-init, we are not getting any TypeScript errors, but we are getting a runtime error. Inject must be called from the injection context of the constructor, which actually means we are using inject only in constructor time and not later, so we can't really use it inside our code except when we are generating our component. Let's try something different now. Let's say that we want to inject our activated route and then listen to the page query parameter and render it on the screen. How we can do that? We can write here that we have a page dollar property because it is unobservable and we are using here inject where we are providing our activated route. After this we have access to query parameters and this is an observable. This is where here we can write pipe. And first of all I want to filter the stream if we don't have a query parameter. So here we can write filter. We are getting our params. And here we are trying to get params page. And if we pass through filter I want to use here map. So we are getting here our params. And we are reading params page. As you can see we don't have an error here and our page dollar is an observable. We can jump inside our HTML and try to render it, so page dollar with the sync pipe. As you can see nothing is rendered, but if I will try to add here page 1 for example, then here we are rendering on the screen 1. Which actually means we can inject something directly and then apply to it some code to create local properties or observables. But now we can do even better, we can move this code to the additional function. For example, here we can create a function get page param, and we don't provide anything inside here, and I want to copy the whole code inside this get page param. And here we are using inject, and I just want to return what we are getting here, which actually means we have a function outside of our component, and we are using inject inside that function. Now, instead of all this code with page, we can simply write here page dollar equals. And here we are calling get page params. And as you can see, we are not providing anything inside, but as this call get page param is happening in construction time for our component, we won't get an error, which actually means we can move all these injects that we are using outside in additional helper functions. And as you can see in browser, it is still working like previously, but now we fully moved this code outside of our component, now it is completely reusable, we can inject it in different components without any problem. One more problem that you really often have inside Angular is inheritance. A lot of people like inheritance and when they see classes inside Angular, they start to use it a lot, and then they have some problems. For example here, let's say that we want to create a class which is full, 
and inside this class we want to inject our service. So we typically write in here constructor and inside we have our private user service, which is our user service. This is totally fine, but now we want to create one more class, which will be bar and we want to extend it from our foo. This is also totally fine, we can create a lot of different methods inside foo and reuse it in any class where we are writing our extend. But then at some point you need to write constructor inside bar to do some logic. And here you are getting an error, your constructor must contain super. Totally fine, we can write here super. But now we can understand that we must provide all dependencies of our foo class in every single place where we are using it. In our case here inside super, as you can see, we must provide user service, which actually means here we are writing again user service is user service, and then we are providing it inside. And after this you have 10 or 20 dependencies in every single component, and when you are adding just a single dependency inside your full class, you must update all these places. This is not cool. And inject simplifies this code here. We can remove here constructor and just write user service inject and here we have our user service. Now here inside our bar we can create constructor if we want to and even call super inside but we don't need to provide anything inside because here we don't have a constructor inside our foo. And even better would be if we are not creating here constructor but simply use an inject if we need to inject something additionally. And here I want to show you a really nice use case of inject function to make something really useful and reusable. So what I want to create here is on destroy method. And here we don't provide anything inside and just to remind you we must unsubscribe from all our subscriptions to avoid memory leaks. This is exactly what this function is for. Here we first of all want to create a subject by calling new subject with void and we don't need to provide anything here. After this we must get access to our view reference so we know when our component is destroyed. We are calling here view reference by injecting change detector ref as view reference. And now it allows us to write view reference dot on destroy and this is our callback. So we want to do something when our component is destroyed. And here we can call destroy.next to trigger our subject and then complete it with destroy.complete. And after this we must return our destroy. Which actually means we have on destroy function which creates a subject, injects here view reference and cleans this subject when our component is destroyed. Now what we can do here we can create destroy property and assign here on destroy that we just created. And what it allows for us to do is to use this subject void. Now here for example when we have subscribe we can write pipe take until and provide inside our this destroy. And this is our typical code that we are writing in order to avoid memory leaks. And actually if you are interested to know what are angular signals and how they are working, make sure to check this video also.